Hey guys, and welcome to How to Gastro. In today's video, we'll be talking about a very interesting topic, and that is the nasal polyps. So let's get started. So what are nasal polyps? Nasal polyps are soft, painless, non-cancerous growths in the lining of the nasal passages or the sinuses. These sac-like growths hang down like teardrops or grapes. Nasal polyps can affect anyone at any ages, but they tend to be more common in adults. So from this definition of the nasal polyps, we get that they are actually these teardrop or sac-like shape, non-cancerous, soft and painless growths which occur from the inner lining of the nasal passages as well as the sinuses. So something very interesting about the polyps is that they don't actually just affect the nasal cavity itself, but may actually develop within the hollow cavities, which are the sinuses of the face as well. So the polyps can affect anyone at any age, but they tend to be more common in adults rather than people of younger ages. So now that we know what the basics of the nasal polyps are, let's take a closer look at what causes them to develop. So researchers are still learning about the causes of nasal polyps, but underlying inflammation of the tissue plays some sort of role. So the nasal polyps tend to be more common in people with these health conditions. So patients who suffer from asthma, aspirin sensitivity, chronic sinus infections, cystic fibrosis, and hay fever, which is allergic rhinitis. So although we don't completely understand the cause of the disease itself, there is enough evidence which suggests that some underlying inflammatory condition may actually lead to the development of the disease. So any patients who suffer from these various diseases, which actually cause inflammation within the nasal cavity and irritation to the mucosa within these cavities, actually tend to be more susceptible to developing this disease. So although there's no specific cause for the development of nasal polyps, it has been associated with patients who suffer from asthma, aspirin sensitivity, chronic sinus infections, cystic fibrosis, and hay fever. The signs and symptoms of nasal polyps. So nasal polyps may grow large enough to block the nasal passages. And this can result in chronic congestion in these patients, as well as a difficulty in breathing. So other signs and symptoms of the nasal polyps may include a sensation that the nose is blocked, a runny nose, a post-nasal drip, which is when the excess mucus runs down the back of the throat, nasal stuffiness, nasal congestion, a reduced sense of smell, breathing through the mouth more frequently, a feeling of pressure in the forehead or the face, sleep apnea, and snoring. So now let's explore the diagnosis of nasal polyps. So a nasal polyp will likely be visible if your doctor looks up into your nasal passages with a lighted instrument which is called an otoscope or a nasoscope. So if this otoscope or nasoscope is inserted into the nasal cavity, and we have a look-see up to see what's inside the nasal cavity, we should have a clear view of that abnormal growth within the nasal cavity, which is the polyp. So if the polyp is deeper in the sinuses, the doctor may need to perform a nasal endoscopy. And this is a procedure which involves the doctor guiding a thin flexible tube with a lightened camera at the end into the nasal passages. So this is what the nasal endoscopy looks like, and it can be done when the nasoscope or otoscope can't reach those more difficult places. So a CT scan or MRI scan may also be necessary to determine the exact size and the location of the polyp. So if you remember in the first slide, we mentioned that the polyps not only develop within the nasal cavity itself, but can actually develop within the sinuses. So if we take a closer look at this CT, we see the maxillary sinuses located here and we see the development of a polyp here as well as here within these maxillary sinuses of this patient. So the polyps will show up as opaque spots on these scans and these scans can also reveal if the polyp has deformed the bone in the area. So blood tests can also be helpful because it is said that the nasal polyps were also associated with low levels of vitamin D. So if we do do a blood test and we see that the vitamin D levels are below normal, it can actually point us towards a diagnosis of the nasal polyp. 
And finally, let's talk about the treatment of the nasal polyps. So medications that reduce inflammation may help reduce the size of the polyp and relieve symptoms of congestion or may actually eliminate the polyps completely. This may be done by nasal corticosteroids or oral and injectable corticosteroids. So the nasal corticosteroids include fluticasone, budesonide and mometasone. And as we can see here, these are what the nasal corticosteroids look like. Oral and injectable corticosteroids can also be administered and this includes drugs such as prednisone. And if the patient's symptoms still aren't improving after the medical therapy, so the nasal corticosteroids or the oral corticosteroids are administered, then surgery can be done to remove the polyps completely. So the type of surgery depends on the size of the polyp and a polypectomy is a surgery which is done with a small suction device and a micro debrider that cuts and removes the soft tissue, including the mucosa. So usually, the initial treatment is done medically with nasal corticosteroids or oral and injectable corticosteroids. But if the corticosteroids fail to reduce the patient's symptoms and there's no improvement in the disease, then we can actually use surgery to completely remove the polyp. And this is a process called a polypectomy. And that brings us to the end of this video on the nasal polyps. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you found the presentation very interesting and informative. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe and share. And please make sure you turn on your bell notifications so you'll be notified every time we have a new upload. If you'd like to download a copy of this presentation, you may do so by clicking the link in the description. Take care and bye for now.